Now it's time to check out that fashion show, which is Viva's Fashion is Life. The show off began on the red carpet at the Viva Fashion Show in Lagos, southwest Nigeria. It is an exhibition of colorful African fabrics and designs, and the guests have turned out in flying colors themselves with high hopes and expectations. <laughs> I think the attention is drawn right now. Um, you know, we're beginning to appreciate what we call African and Thai African outfit, which I think is nice. As you can see me also, I'm looking at the African thing that I want to sell and export our product from here to all of other. What I think is a good one. It's a good era and trend and things. Okay, I'm super excited being here because I love fashion, I love fabrics, I love creativity. While the red carpet glowed, backstage, the models get ready. And when the runway came alive, it didn't disappoint. Different designers showed off their latest collections, all using vibrant African fabrics. Opening is Tayo Couture, whose collection tuned down on the color. For Dan's dossier, Couture is a lot more brave with colors, especially for the men. mixes plain fabrics with patterns for the various designs. About colors, yeah, um, men don't do bright colors, but most times when you want to look fab and <laughs> sharp for the camera, you have to wear a bright color. You have like a dark person like me. You can't find a dark person like me wearing all black every day or brown. I have to wear a bright color like what I'm wearing now. Yeah, but I think we should just shy away from maybe pink and some other ones, but I think bright colors are also good for men. Well, I want to go off the usual thing people are used to seeing. You know, by combining colors and uh, making sure that the patterns and the stitches are well defined. Other collections include casuals, smart casuals for women with flary arms, and many more. I think it's been wonderful because uh, for Africans, they are actually going far in the modeling industry. I think it's been wonderful and it's been beautiful. And creativity, I love the creativity about everything I've been saying. It's wonderful. Fashion head Ijoma Udeogu hopes that the rise of the fashion industry will inspire the government to revive the textile industry in the country. Of course, print fabric um, depicts Africa. We Africans, we do a lot of prints, and that's what we see as African wear. So that's why our print is very important in our Nigerian market or in Africa, I would say. If we have an enabling environment to do, I mean, to produce this here in the country, it's going to be okay because it's going to provide employment, create em employment for our youths, you understand. But because of the terrain, we have erratic power supply and all this, so it's going to be difficult to venture into that here in Nigeria. So, more entertainment came in form of music from reality television star Leo.
few days after the Association of Movie Producers called on the federal government to institute the Nollywood Council as an apex regulatory body for Nigerian filmmakers, the Yoruba Film Producers and Marketers Associations have signed a memorandum to regulate the quality of film distributed under their network. The marketers and distributors have formed a body which will monitor the quality of films produced under its platform to ensure high standards in filmmaking. The objective of this memorandum uh, sort of is just to, you know, uh, appreciate professionalism and drive away mediocrity. Four years after the release of his debut album, Superson alternative singer Bez is set to release his sophomore album titled Waggy Child. The guitarist told Entertainment News on Channel's television via the phone that the album is so titled because he had to go back to his roots in Baggy Town for inspiration. When, when I started recording the album, I, I wanted to, to do something different. So I traveled to my hometown, that's Karo in Nassau State. You know, and I had uh, some local drummers play and we, we got inspired by some of the sounds that they played. And we actually merged some of the sounds that we got from the drummers some sounds that we recorded um, all over the world. Music retiree LD has dropped a new track he calls It Ain't All Bad. Recorded over a soulful track, LD's verses share a bit of the last few years of his music career, as well as his decision to step away from the scene. However, LD says the song is for his true fans, but the gesture is not an attempt to return to mainstream music. Built some equity in it, I'm thinking just let it burn, cause ain't no use in a venture that's brewing hate in my... And it's a wrap on this edition of Entertainment News. Thank you so much for being a part of it. I do hope you tune in again because we will be back. In the meantime, send those tweets to our channel TV underscore ENT or at Luamayawa OH. Luamayawa I am Mayawa Ugundele. Till I see you next time, take good care of yourself. Goodbye.